turn, including the aircraft. Hello YouTube, this is Crosscheck and welcome once again to another very, very exciting video. So this is a video I've been wanting to make uh, for like, well, since since I saw this movie back in, I think it was 2012 with uh, Denzel Washington. The movie is called Flight. For you, uh, of you guys who have not seen this movie, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty entertaining movie. I, I, I do recommend it. It's, it's good fun and it's aviation related the drama <laughs> that goes around the movie uh, has very much nothing to do with uh, aviation um, but but still it's 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 quite interesting anyway what happened there uh, is very similar to what happened in Alaskan Airlines flight 261. So this was a terrible, terrible accident. Uh, the summary is uh, jack screw failure due to improper maintenance. The jack screw, it's uh, basically this is a jack screw, and this jack screw was f could well was found in the uh, in the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, this video is really, really crappy. But I think it will be able to show, kind of. So this is the stabilizer. I will show you the stabilizer uh, in a moment because like, it, it it is kind of difficult to see. But the jack screw is right here, and what ends up happening is it breaks off, and so the stabilizer, uh, well, the pilot has no control over the stabilizer, and the stabilizer is just uh, going crazy there. So that's basically what happened. Let's go in the aircraft and let me show you. This is the stabilizer right here. This is the one. Uh, let's unpause the simulation. And lower the volume for that. That was kind of hard. Um, so um, right now in my settings and my simulator uh, I removed the remove flying surfaces when over speed or over G limits because what the maneuvers that we're gonna be doing uh, that happen in real life uh, they, they I'm pretty sure they go over the the G limits and of, of the, the the surfaces and um, if if I do that it will remove those surfaces and uh, well I will just plummet to my death so um, I'm ignoring that, so I want to show you. Uh, if you want in an aircraft to uh, go up or down, this is what what moves. Okay, down, up, yeah. Okay, so there we go. So it's as you can see, it's this part right here that moves uh, when you push or pull the yoke. Now the trim. Uh, you can trim the aircraft. Let me see what's going on. I think I messed this one up. So, the trim, you can trim the aircraft. Uh, the, the, the vertical trim, it will move like this. Now, as you see, the whole uh, thing moves. So this is where the jack screw comes in, okay? As you uh, saw on the other video, the jack screw came off and this thing went all the way up. Right now, uh, it stops right there. But if the jack screw broke, it would just go freely all the way up. Um, I'm gonna see and let me just try and recover this because I'm probably doing a mess. So let's see, I just want to do a little experiment, see if if I fail. Okay, I did failures. Uh, I think what I need to fail is uh, horizontal stabilizers, both the left one and the right one. So control F to fail them. Apply changes. Let's wait for the aircraft to fully stabilize. Okay, so now we are stable at 30,000 feet and we're gonna fail both our uh, stabilizers. 
horizontal stabilizers and uh, see see what happens. So there we go. Okay, visually nothing happened, which is very odd. But I cannot control my pitch. And uh, yep, yeah. oh, can't control my pitch. Even if I try trimming, nothing's happening. If I do a barrel roll, it it's still going down. Yep, nothing we can do there. Well, it seems we blew our tires. That's a shame. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so that's what happens uh, if you uh, if your horizontal stabilizers fail, if they are uh, disconnected. That's 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 what happens. Even if you if you fly inverted, uh, your nose is pitching down, and unless the stabilizers are stuck on on the position in which uh, they 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 will pitch the nose down, maybe you could uh, you could you could fly inverted. But if the stabilizer is just completely disconnected, I mean it's not stuck; it's just disconnected from the aircraft. There is nothing to do. Uh, even if you do invert the flight, if, if you are going down and you invert the aircraft, it's not gonna like pitch down inverted. It's gonna end up pitching up. It's not. It's not gonna work like that. But what happened in this movie is uh, something something different. It seems that it it the stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizers do not break. They just get stuck. So so let's 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 watch a little bit into the, into this uh, scene, and uh, I will be giving a couple of points as we as we watch it. How can anybody sleep? Hmm. I don't know. And how long has sleeping given you now? Twenty six minutes. We're gonna start descending any second now. Well, looks like we don't need to wake him up. Southjet 227, about a center, descend and maintain flight level 300. Center, maintain flight level 300, Southjet 227. Whoa, whoa. Uh, what is that? The elevator feels really stiff, sir. All right, don't force. All right, come on, we get everybody strapped back. in. Get everybody strapped in tight. Ladies and gentlemen, turn left hard, sir. Okay, so the elevator feels uh, really stiff. Mm, that that, that kind of makes sense if it's failing, uh, the way the way it was failing with the jack screw, uh, it would make sense that it was getting stuck and and you were having trouble uh, moving it. Why it would push you to the left? That. Uh, um, I don't know. It, it, at least it doesn't make sense to me. But uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it does. If anybody knows why it would kick you to the left, uh, please let me know. Let's let's continue. Center, this is Southjet 227. We've lost our hydraulics and feels like our pitch control. Okay, now he says he lost hydraulics. Uh, the movie's not showing the, the, the hydraulic quantity or, or uh, anything like that. So I don't know if, if he uh, doesn't have any hydraulics. If he doesn't have any hydraulics, I mean, dude, that's it. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing else to do. I mean, that is it. Um, your surfaces will not work uh, anymore, flaps won't be able to deploy, the gear won't be able to deploy, uh, there's pretty much nothing you can do. You can kind of play with the throttles, you can kind of maneuver the aircraft using the, the, the throttles, like uh, using them 
separately. But uh, but yeah, other than that, if, if you don't have hydraulics, there's there's nothing to to do trying to push the yoke or. But I don't know. I I don't know what that. Why why doesn't he have hydraulics? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, not having hydraulics is is, is absolutely terrible. But let's 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 keep going. Turn on the back up, the back up. That is affirmed. We are in. Okay. So uh, he asks the copilot to turn on the uh, backup pumps I I am not sure what he means by that like what the hydraulic the backup hydraulic pumps uh, he's reaching right here and if we go and we see what's what's going on there this right here is the battery uh, we have we have the APU here. Maybe he was uh, trying to to turn. Or maybe he was turning on the the APU, which is not. I, I don't think you call uh, turning the APU uh, like turn the backup pumps. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it, it does make sense to turn on the APU in a situation like this because I don't know. You you don't know what may happen to your engines to your power sources. So. You maybe want to be ready, but I, I don't think I don't think this is. I don't, this is not what you uh, should do. I, at least that's that's not what I think. And the auxiliary pumps for the hydraulics uh, is is down here. And um, but yeah, I don't know the problem. I don't know if they if they no longer have a hydraulic pressure. If they no longer have a hydraulic uh, uh, quantity, so. There's really, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the hydraulics. I don't know why he's trying to uh, to uh, turn on the, the the hydraulic pumps. No idea. But let's let's continue watching. In an uncontrolled <laughs> Everybody's belted in. Are we going to get belted in with everybody in brace positions? Yes, that is affirmed. We are in a dive. We are in a dive. We have lost. Vertical control. We're gonna need drag. I want you to throw out everything you got. The speed brakes, the gear, everything. Here, speed brakes. Brakes, position. Head down. Head forward. Head down. Head forward. Uh, gears down. I don't think hydraulics is the problem, sir. We need to dump the fuel. Okay, so uh, the pilot asked to get the the aircraft dirty so that they they won't uh well. To, to create more drag so he just asked for um, the flaps to be lowered the gears to to be lowered as well uh, also on this aircraft what can help you create some drag is to use the the wing the wing landing lights because they uh, do it Center. This is South Jet 227. We're in an uncontrolled dive descending out of 21,000 feet. We're declaring an emergency. We've dumped our fuel. We got a jam stabilizer or something. We need a block of altitude to work the problem and a heading to the near. Okay, he's on a dive off uh, about 11 degrees. Let's remember that because we're gonna simulate that. Or something. We need a block of altitude to work the problem and a heading to the nearest airport. Just do it, do it, 30 degrees. There you go, see, uh, he tells him uh, to drop the flaps, uh, Kapal doesn't want to because they're going too fast, and uh, that's that's true, they're going too fast. 315, we'll try our best. Alright, that bought us a little time, that bought us a little time. Now we gotta revert the manual control, your side first. Okay, got it. <sighs> Nothing, no control. Oh no, we're diving again! Oh, oh. oh, oh. Alright, okay, okay. Oh, I can't oh. let go of my side. See if you can reach my side. I can't reach it, sir! No, stay strapped in, stay strapped in. Margaret! Margaret! We're out of 15,000! Alright, just relax. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Get strapped into the jump seat there. I need you to do something for me. We're at 12. Okay, right now it seems they are about 20 degrees on a dive of 20 degrees and uh, it seems they are going actually quite 
slow they are below oh they have the flaps so that's why they have the lower speed sign there but they, they seem to be going about uh, I don't know 200 knots and at the moment 12,000 feet and going uh, on a vertical speed above uh, 6,000 feet per minute Stop is approved. Thank you. I think he's doing that turn he's ah uh, okay okay this is this is uh this is really weird I think the vertical speed is positive here yeah he's actually climbing isn't he yeah he's climbing he's definitely climbing the nose is going down uh but he is currently climbing for some extremely bizarre reason and uh, he's at about 2,200 feet I, th I think it's 2,200 2, feet uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for 2,000 so he starts turning the aircraft 2,200 feet uh, above sea level right well but he's he's on, on Los Angeles so he's 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 doing all right he's he's probably about 2,000 feet above uh, ground. So at 2,200 he starts turning. For some reason he has a uh, positive vertical speed. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, and also... Oh, he... he okay, so he retracted the, the flaps. That's why he doesn't have the red markings above the, the speed now, I, I'm guessing. Okay, now the flat. He just pulled the flaps up. So, uh, what I already said before that, discard. Okay, let's let's see that once again. He is. He he still has not completed the the roll and uh, he's at 1,000 feet and now he is uh, dropping once again and uh, 220 on its speed and now he has the red markings for the flaps for some reason. Fire 
left engine. Put it out. Okay, so uh, if you fly inverted, uh, the aircraft is not designed to fly that way, so uh, you will have some problems with uh, fuel pumps and you will have some problems with uh, oil pumps and stuff like that. So oil will, well, the engines will stop receiving oil, but at the same time, well, and, and, and that that's actually, that's really bad, and, and that can end up on a uh, fire in your engine, but at the same time, uh, the the fuel uh, will not be able to reach the engines as well. So yes, you're you're losing oil, but you're losing uh, uh, fuel as well. So probably what you're gonna end up with is uh, no no engines. I mean, they, they they'll just go off. But uh, I don't know. They 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 may they may uh, start a fire. So. Yeah, I'll I'll give him that. That's that's some something interesting. Atlanta, South Jet two two seven. Where's that airport? Two two seven. It's one o'clock, three miles. All right, we're not going to make that. Our engines are burning up. If I see a field at a road ahead of us. We're going to set it down there. Roger two two seven. Oh no! Fire in the right now. Damn it, we're coming back around. Margaret, I wanted you to hit. Okay, so he uh he had that fire on, on, on the two engines and he discharged on on each a bottle of uh, extinguisher the thing is uh, if you want to extinguish a fire you need to cut off the fuel which I don't even think the engines are receiving fuel because they are inverted but in case they are you need to cut off the fuel and uh, do a couple of more procedures and and then uh, extinguish the the fires and once you do that, there's there's no turning back. Uh, the your your engines are now really messed up. Uh, they won't be able to ignite again. Full power, full throttle. You understand? Here we go. No reason for full throttle. You don't have engines anymore. No way you can have engines after you discharged. After you had fire, and then you discharge the extinguisher on them. Evans. Okay, so for some reason, <laughs> flying inverted uh, fixed the the stabilizer. So, so yeah, uh, definitely that that doesn't work that way. So right now you would be back to a nose down uh, attitude and just. Just ram the floor, but let's see what happens. Race, ten, race for impact. Minimum. And ta-da. Okay, so uh, now we, we saw what happened there. Uh, let's see, let's try to... Let's try to imitate what happened. Let's now fly off a heading. Uh, well, let's, let's fly east. Okay, so now we're uh, cruising, right? 
And let's say our troubles begin right now. Boom. There we go, it's stuck. It's stuck right there. It's giving us... Oh, there we go, it's giving us about 15 degrees. Okay, having some trouble. Throttle off. We need to slow down. Okay, extract the wind landing lights. Speed brakes. Gear down. Flaps 30. We're losing altitude fast. Turn this all the way up. We're going too fast. Maintaining 15 degrees. Degrees. Oh, it's going between 15 and 20. We are being able to slow down a little bit. We are, well, at least our indicated airspeed is lowering. So now we pull, we move, we do all of that. Nothing, nothing is uh, working, right? So when we reach 2,000 feet, I'm gonna clean the aircraft. And I'm gonna turn upside down with the same trim and the same uh, the same everything, with the same push on my yoke. See, see how that goes. Three thousand. Okay, starting the turn, cleaning the aircraft flaps. Gear down. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to push more. No, I can't. I can't. That's what you would have get. Okay, now let's see. Let's see if you did that uh, earlier because 2000 feet is just insane. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, we're plummeting. Same, the aircraft is really dirty. But now this time at 10,000, I'm going to roll. Uh, to go inverted. And I am going to uh, lose, well, to get my aircraft clean, right? Get, get, off, get rid of my flaps, my speed brakes, my gear, all that. Okay, so now we are at 10,000 feet, cleaning the aircraft and starting the roll. Okie dokie. Okay, I started at 10,000. I'm still losing a lot of... Oh, jeez. Okay, I have to push really hard. I'm being able to control it, but I lost like 6,000 feet doing that. And also I am flying over mountains, but uh, that'll do for now. Okay, so as you saw, the oil pressure went down and the engines died. We lost power. Let's see if we can start the... We don't have fuel, so it's going to be hard to start the APU. Maybe, maybe it's possible. Let's start the fuel pump. Okay, there she goes, he's trying. We may be able to regain electrical power while being upside down. Okay, so flying inverted. Well, it's, it's plausible. Obviously, we're uh, gonna lose our engines. Get electrical power back on. Okay, so now the thing is how do you land? Because the, I mean, it's, it's stuck. 
right, the trim is stuck. So if you go, if you turn around, uh, you're gonna start diving again. But at the same time, I mean, you, I don't think it's very clever to land upside down. That probably is the best option you have for the time being. And obviously we do not have flaps, so I think it's going to be really easy to uh, stall. So I think at about 160 I'm going to try to roll over the aircraft. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it around and bring the yeah okay yeah it's 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 sinking now gear down yeah this is what this is what would happen woohoo hoo you be good times good times. That is exactly what would happen. So, uh, so yeah, that's that. That's 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 a video. That's something I I always want to try out, and I think that's that's what that's what happens. Uh, you think I messed up on something or or gave uh, bad information? Please let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll be sure to check that out and uh, probably uh, do something about that. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, sticking around and watching. It was it was really fun to do this. I always wanted to do it. Okay. Anyway, uh, happy flying and cross check out.